got some good work today. Did quite a bit of situational work. Did some red zone, two point, coming off the goal line, four minute, uh, two minute. So a lot of situational work. Um, it was good. Uh, guys were energetic, focused, and so uh, overall pleased. You know, we're going to come back, watch this film, and go back at it tomorrow and have another practice tomorrow, a little bit lighter, and uh, give them the first day of school off, which is Monday. So to switch up our day off. So nothing, you know, overly dramatic to to report. We're we're relatively healthy. Um, you know, the playmakers made some plays, and both sides did some good things, so I'll open it up. I want to talk about Sheridan, uh, yeah. what we saw on fan day, and I'm, what I'm hearing, he's, he's improving. Yeah, I thought he had a good day today, again, with the situational work in the two-minute, in the red zone, with some pressure, I thought he did a good job. Yeah. Getting better. What do you sell that season tickets? Uh, can you just talk about that, what that means? Yeah, it's just means an awful lot. I greatly appreciate the support. We always do. It affects the game. You know, it affects recruiting, you know, our, the atmosphere when this place is uh, a, a full tilt. It, it's it's a blast to play and our players really feed off that. And we've always had great support and, and we continue to get that and we thank them. It's two weeks out. Are you uh, sensitive from your guys? Are they just kind of hungry to, to hit somebody else? They are, they are. It, it, it gets long, as I mentioned, I feel, uh, you know, camp is, is good. It's, it's not quite what it used to be, but but it's still uh, draining on them and, and challenging mentally and physically. And uh, you know, they start school Monday, so I think it's just a different change of pace will be good for them. How is Ty Bryant? I really have been pleased with Ty. But it was nice that he was here in the spring, and um, not surprising, but he's very coachable. You know, and and. Uh, Works extremely hard. He's going to be good on special teams. He's in the he's in the two deep rotation at safety, and and uh, you know that takes some work from, from just answering the questions through the years of uh, the challenge. We're very multiple in what we do, and uh, he's been able to be you know pretty reliable for a true freshman. In the spring, I assume that helped that. It did. It did. Yeah. What are some things that are jumping out? The improvement from the start of fall camp to now. What are some things that you really didn't have? Well, a big thing is, is consistency. Uh, you know, sometimes early in camp, one side may have success because the other side is, is non-functional and not doing the right things. And uh, now you're seeing more competitive plays, guys in good position on both sides. And guys just stepping up and competing, which is ultimately what it's going to come down to. You know, you need to be well coached, you got to be in good position, but we got to have some guys win some one on one. Mark, how are those? Uh, how's that position battles at kicker and punter specifically? How are those going? Yeah, okay. it's it's going well. You know, I, I feel I feel like we have really solid guys there, and they've been good and been more consistent, and uh, so that's been good. Just the operation overall. Do you feel like that's been more efficient with Jay Boyer? Yeah, definitely. Not you know not not there yet. You know, we're not we're not where we want to be. We're not perfect. Uh, but we're much better. Mark, how's the progression of the offensive line been throughout this game? Same, you could hit repeat there, you know, better. Needed to be better, you know, obviously. We, we addressed that, you know, right away. And uh, um, we are better, uh, we're more consistent. I think um, we're able to have the balance that we're looking for. Protection has been better, again, not perfect. Uh, need to shore up a few things still, but uh, getting better. You got to get a lot of guys returning on that D line. How does it help going up against guys like that every day? It it helps a lot. Uh, there's Big Dion over there. <laughs> Not Dion. I had to throw you out of the scrimmage today so we could get a playoff. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's been a he's been a force. Um, so. Uh, He's hard to deal with, but uh, but the, overall, all those guys are playing well. Coach, going back to the offensive line, a couple weeks back, you said it's so much more about physicality, but also creativity as well. Are you seeing that in your guys? And um... yeah, there, there's no question. I mean, Liam, the, the staff do a great job. They present problems. Um, you know, there's a rhyme and a reason for everything that we do, and, and uh, so it puts stress on the defense. It's not just. 
pure physicality and not bulk. You know, obviously that has to be there. And uh, you need to be physical at the point of attack. Just like I mentioned earlier, you have to win one-on-ones and get some movement. But also you could create stress with the defense with just uh, eye candy, motion shifts, you know, things of that nature. And they do a nice job of tying things together. Brad pointed out Keaton as a guy who could have a really big jump this year. What have you seen from him this camp? Yeah, again, uh, very reliable. You know, he's just he's a guy that's very conscientious, wants to do right all the time, cares, um, getting better. You know, so real, really solid. You mentioned these shorter sets. I know the goal to goal sets. You have settled for field goals a lot last year, like more than you wanted to. How are you guys working on those and trying to punch that in once you have goal to goal? Well, I mean, you know, just. Be more efficient, be better, you know. And uh, um, you know, two years ago we were more efficient in getting in the red zone. We got to get back to that, you know. Ultimately, you got to win games, though. If you have to kick a field goal, then we got to get it through, you know, and, and get the points and and uh, you know win how whatever means necessary. You know, we had a few of those last year as well. Uh, we've talk heard a lot about you know Devin and those playmakers at wide receiver making plays throughout camp. How has that helped your Giving you a good look. Yeah, I mean it, it's challenging, and so you know they're going to be isolated against some talented guys. And uh, Devin has thrown some some beautiful passes, dropped them in some tough spots, and uh, so you know it, it, it's been good competition. You know we we still need to improve. You know, we still need to get better. I feel pretty good about the front line at corner. I feel like you know, uh, Drew and Max are playing pretty pretty solid. And uh, we got to continue to bring a few of the other guys back. Mark, you talked you talk about that last year. You didn't feel like you always responded to adversity the way you wanted to. Obviously, you won't know that until you get into the season this year. But do you feel like that this group is set up that they can handle things better than maybe did last year? I do, and I I think you know you know we all got to take a good look at yourself year to year. And you know I've never you know pretended to. to put it all on any one group. I mean, ultimately, I have to get that out of them. And, and uh, you know, as I mentioned in week one, I have to do a better job, and I just got to put my foot down and, and demand it out of them. And, and the coaches do, and the players ultimately will. And I do think they got that message, and we've been more consistent. We haven't been perfect, but, but I like their attitude, and I like their work ethic, and I like the energy. And, um, you know, at times, I just felt like I, I fell short in that area. I got to get it out of them. Coach Love. We talked to Liam, and he talked about Caddis when we were here at Fan Day, just being like, "I got to get this red jersey off." He missed time in the spring. How's his progression been the last few weeks, and what, you know, this year, what do you expect? Really good. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, it was one of the practices a while back now that, that Caddis was in there and just mixing it up like he does, and you know, blocking somebody that's a foot taller than him, and 100 pounds more, but you scrap it and getting it done. And I'm like, why the hell has he got a red jersey on? <laughs> like, if he's going to do this, like, he's either cleared or not cleared. And I'm no doctor. I'm not taking him out of red until a doctor does. But, but he was cleared to do a, a certain drill. And I'm like, well, if he's cleared to do that, he's cleared to do anything. And sure enough, about 15 minutes later, he came out with a blue shirt on. He's you know, so been in a blue shirt ever since. Is that spirit that he brings? Yeah. Contagious, does it, it yeah. Yeah. The guys beat them. yeah, the guys respect it. Yeah, they definitely love you, Coach. Uh, <laughs> love, love you. Yeah, just because I gave you a night off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, always love. Always love. Um, but yeah, I think Josh is a guy that they, they definitely feed, feed off of. They see the way he plays, and he's committed. I mean, and he's scrappy and he's tough and does really good. He plays hard. Tom, after the scrimmage today, what's maybe one or two things that you want to tighten up in these next couple of weeks before the season starts? There's still been some pre-snap things, and, uh, you know, we just got to be, try to be as perfect as we can. Um, turnovers and ball security has been relatively good, and that needs to stay. Um, but there's still some pre-snap penalties and some things of that nature that we we just got to be cleaner and, and not beat ourselves. And, um, even in special teams, uh, they, the guys are working really hard, and, and they've been uh, much improved. But there's still just a lot of a lot of areas in, in there that we got to clean up. Following the scrimmage today, uh, what part uh, what part has he most excited as we roll into the season? I just think maybe going back to the question with John, just the demeanor of the team. I, I like I like where they're at. I think they're in a good place. 
and united and you know really committed and if we could stay there and stay hungry and can just continue to get better you know not not look ahead just you know let's get better tomorrow uh, if we stay in that mindset I think we'll be all right I've heard a lot about Anthony and the things he's done and all the other receivers, but how's Dekel kind of coming along? Dekel's getting much better, you know, trying to get him to be totally co consistent. But what I, what, what's different about him, what, where he's getting better, is maybe if, you know, he, he's going through traffic, in the middle of traffic, and maybe he has a drop or, you know, doesn't, isn't clean. You see him respond the next day and make that play, and that's growth, and that's – what he and I have talked a lot about about just just worry about getting better. Just just take the coaching and get better each and every day because he's got skills and and he can run and he's getting better. And he he just got to stay hungry and stay in that mindset and just uh, good things will happen. Hey folks, last, you know, uh, if you, last you know, one. We always talk about it with him. I mean, if you if you do the little things, time and time and time, big things are going to happen. You know, guys like that. It's like he, he, he's so explosive. He's just waiting for a big thing. He just. Got to do all the little things, and the big things will come.